At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. This little presentation is all about the mechanics of cross-currency basis swaps, and it's really an extract from the sort of thing that we talk about on our interest rate derivatives program. So let's um, take a beginning, and if we start to think about um, how a cross-currency basis swap works, we can have a look at the mechanics of that and then think about how they're quoted in the market. And what I'd like to do is just have a look at the quotation of these swaps over and party B pays back to party A 100 million US dollars. So those are the three stages of the cross-currency basis swap. Now, we need to think a little bit about this uh, spread uh, against Swiss franc LIBOR uh, and what the level ought to be. And in order to understand the spread, and giving us this hugely negative basis swap spread. Um, as time rolled on, you could see that the uh, basis swap spreads evolved. And you can see starting from uh, March 2009, um, the uh, lines on the chart here reflecting yen, uh, euros, and sterling. Um, if we think about how these have evolved um, up to the present time, you can see that the basis swap spreads in a lot of currencies remain negative. Sterling, the bright green line at uh, the top there, um, still pretty close. Now, to see how we can work out what type of adjustments that we need to make to the rates which we're going to be using for discounting, it's worth just um, taking a look at how we might uh, construct uh, a, a yield curve with these basis swap adjusted rates. So we start off with the... OK, this little spreadsheet uh, is just designed to illustrate how we can uh, calculate a basis swap adjusted yield curve. And it involves looking at a dollar versus euro cross currency basis swap um, for a series of maturities. And we're going to adjust the uh, Eonia rates so that they're consistent with these basis swap spreads that you see in the market. Why has there been a change from LIBOR to OIS discounting? Ah, well, this is, um, this is very interesting. Um, what we've had over the last, say, 10 years or so is a much um, more detailed consideration of the way uh, we value.